Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Devi, and you are watching Just Devi Marie. So today I'm actually going to be doing the get to know me tab with some funny questions, some random questions, and some TMI questions. So if you guys want to learn a little bit more about me, stay tuned. <laughs> to my channel also like this video yeah please like just take the time right now and just like it before we go any further also if you guys are watching I want you guys to comment uh, the question mark I put a question mark in the comment section because we're answering some questions today so you can leave that in the comments to let me know that you are watching also please remember to check out the previous videos that I have on my channel and my other channel Yardmans also if you are loving the videos on my channel, please go ahead and share them with your friends and fam. Thank you so much for the support so far. So, I decided to do this get to know me tab because I realized I've been just posting videos like that. Yes, um, a lot of them would have helped you guys to know a little bit more about me, but I actually haven't done like a legit get to know me tag. So I thought it would be a fun way, a good idea to just kind of share some funny questions, some random questions, some personal too deep <laughs> probably questions with you guys so i hope you guys really enjoy this so i have the questions on my phone so i'm just gonna be reading and going along hopefully i can knock through this very quickly and not be here chatting for 10 million years because y'all know i can talk <laughs> the first question is where did you grow up so i grew up in jamaica more specifically kingston jamaica what are your best characteristics i think that I'm a very good listener and I really try to do try to understand when people are going through stuff so I would say like I'm very like compassionate and stuff like that yeah that, that's what I say that's what I think would be my best characteristics yeah I I am a good listener and I really try to be understanding and sensitive to people's feelings what relative was important to you growing up and why Whenever I think about my childhood, honestly, I think about my aunt, <laughs> my aunt, my mom's sister. Like, I just remember always wanting to be around her, always want to be over her house. Like, I have so much great memories, great childhood memories just by being around her. Like, she, like, legit is the most kindest person in life. Like, she has so many great qualities and <laughs> it used to make me laugh a lot of times whenever we used to go on the road her and i people used to always think that i was her daughter but you know i really appreciated her growing up like she allowed me to experience a lot of things that i had never experienced you know under you know the guise of my parents and if you guys have a good relationship with your aunts you know that aunts are like yes they're older than you and yes you know they're almost second to like your parents but you know they're different because you and them can rule differently so big up my auntie Althea if you're watching thank you for being there for me throughout my childhood what has required the most courage of you in your life so far I would say two things the first thing I would say is um, I actually just walked away from a job like my first job outside university I completely just walked away from it I didn't know where I was going or what I was doing but I just knew that I have to leave that job and that took a lot of courage because you know I never like did have it <laughs> honestly I just that was literally my first job and I didn't know where I was going after that I didn't know what I was going to do with my life and like I, I, it was it was a big step but I knew it's something that I had to do and I'm actually to this day would be forever glad that I did it and the second thing I would say is being married you know deciding making the decision to make a comment commitment and a covenant in marriage with my husband that also took a lot of courage um, because sometimes when people talk about marriage like you get a little disheartened and you get a little doubtful sometimes but I just had to remember that like my marriage is not going to be anybody else's marriage my marriage is mine and I knew that that was the direction that God wanted me to go in so yeah it did take a lot of courage but still one of the best decisions that I've ever made in life what is your favorite snack now if you know me <laughs> I love like snacking like that is my weakness or like issue when it comes out to food is snacking 
so I love chips so like I love like Pringles, Lay's, anything really in the Frito-Lay line, Ruffles, them kind of chips there, party mix, love those but I also like sweet stuff like brownies, the kiss brownies, oh chef's kiss, love, 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 love and I also really like Skittles, I would say that Skittles is a snack too, um, the one in the purple bag or the one in like the dark blue bag or dark purple bag, those are my favourites what was your favorite subject in high school definitely literature in english or english literature whatever it is i i don't know but it just kind of like to write not necessarily love to read but like i love to write and express myself in certain ways like i always feel like there's so many ways to express yourself using words and i don't know i just liked writing and expressing myself in that medium and literature definitely allowed me to do that so that was my favorite subject in high school are you more likely to avoid com conflict or engage it head on i do not like confrontation i do not engage it head on i am the type of person who yeah you might do something that bothers me but i just adjust myself and just deal with it internally like i don't necessarily voice it to you and that is not a good thing because you it is very important if somebody hurts your feelings or somebody does something that you don't like that you actually let them know and have a conversation about it but sometimes i just deal with it on my own and just move right along so i'm definitely not the confrontational type if you could eliminate one weakness or limitation in your life what would it be i would eliminate the fear in my life i'm very fearful about some things and because of that fear i tend to think that my ideas or my dreams are not valid or i can't do it so i would definitely want to eliminate fear out of my life um yeah that's all i have to say about that um who is the first person you call when something exciting happens husband my husband is the first person i would call if something exciting happens and then my mom or mom and my dad more than likely um who is the worst boss you've ever had now i call my name but that same job that i went into right out of university those two persons at that job were the worst bosses i've ever had um do you prefer kissing or cuddling hmm. both i like both it just depends on the mood it just depends on the setting you know it depends on how you feel you know but i like both <laughs> if it's like a cool night you know like how it's raining here in jamaica cuddling is definitely yes but if it's another kind of night you know kissing i do it do you have a tattoo no i do not who was your first boyfriend my first boyfriend is or was my is my current husband like so sean is my first boyfriend and only <laughs> what is your idea of a special time together if we're talking about with my husband i would say um snacks have to be involved some kind of show with a netflix movie whatever have to be involved um liquor have to be involved um a cool night or a cool day you know and wrap up in a blanket um yeah that would be like my ideal or my idea of a special time if it's with friends food have to involve in any case food have to involve and just people who vibe with each other not no awkwardness bear jokes and whatever like yeah yeah that's my idea of a good time what is something you look forward to in no what is something you look for in a partner definitely somebody who shares the same values and beliefs that i do um fundamentally you're not going to agree on everything that everybody says uh, you know that's just facts of life but there are certain fundamental beliefs that i have for instance i believe in god and so therefore the person that i'm with has to believe not only believe but also want to live their life in that way and different values too like that's something that i don't skimp on like you have to have the same values as me also honesty is a big thing for me too like i don't like shady people like i love real genuine people like where you know you can just click with um so yeah those would be my um something that i look for in a partner how many boyfriends have you had i've had only one boyfriend which is my husband as i mentioned before how old were you when you learned how to ride a bike i don't know how to ride a bike i don't feel no way i never learned i tried i'm gonna drop off i'm gonna say i'm gonna do this again and i didn't learn how to ride a bike so so it go if you guys know how to ride a bike comment down in the comments section below 
After a breakup, would you rather be alone or surrounded by friends? I would definitely rather be alone. Like, as I mentioned earlier, like, I tend to process things alone. I tend to process things very, in an in a internal kind of way, not really needing anybody or wanting anybody, depending on if it's like very soon after to like be up in my green, like sometimes the bombards of texts or whatever, sometimes they can just be a lot for me. I don't know if anybody else is like that when they're going through something. But I tend to deal with things on my own and when I when I feel, when I have dealt with it on my own then I can start talking and sharing with other people or allowing other people to share with me. So yeah. Are you a morning person or a night owl? I am a morning person. I am such a morning person. I used to be a night owl when I was um, younger. I would say I used to love staying up late and all that but girl. Your girl cannot do that no more like my internal clock is a different kind of clock uh, when the clock strike five six your girl is up wide awake cannot fall back asleep <laughs> what drains your energy all right people who do not take responsibility that drains my energy people who force themselves like people who, well jamaicans would i call people who run up in her then people that drain my energy people who don't pull their weight um, people who are lazy, uh, people who pretend to be something that they're not, like people like that drain my energy. Drain it. Ain't about that life. What is your biggest turn off in a person? I would say dishonesty. Like I don't like dishonesty and I don't like pretense. Like be yourself. Don't try to be somebody that you're not or don't tell a lie because me I always feel like say whatever in the darkness, whatever you come up, I will come to light. More often than not, it does come to light. So just be yourself. Don't be dishonest. Don't lie. To me, it's always better to be truthful from the get-go, no matter how much you feel like what you're going to do is bad. Like, just be truthful from the get-go because I feel like if you delay being honest, like, it makes um, a situation even worse to me. That's how I feel. If you feel that way, comment down below. Do you hate anyone right now? No, I do not. I don't hate people. I do get annoyed with people and people do frustrate me and yes people would have done things and i have to be like okay i'm not gonna allow you in my space or allow you in my heart like that anymore but i don't hate people you know people will be people and once you realize that people will be people and you can't expect what you do that somebody else does it then you will have more grace towards people yes um but no i don't hate people but yes people do annoy me yes people do frustrate me but that's really just human nature and once you know that you you stop hating people you just realize that well you're human <laughs> uh have you ever had a pregnancy scare yes and that's that uh, that's all i'll be saying on that and that was the last question i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of just debbie marie i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i did have fun answering questions you guys know i love answering questions so I really did enjoy filming this video. Please remember to subscribe. And if you haven't liked the video yet and you reach this far, please do like the video. Also, please remember to check out my previous video on the channel and check out my other channel called Yardmen. If you're interested in this piece of jewelry that I'm wearing, I do have a link for it in my description. You can check it out. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.